Hello everyone, welcome to Hastap and Makarov's channel. Today's video is about how to repair damaged threads on the transmission panel for a 1999 Volkswagen Beetle. When we got this car, I noticed that it had a transmission pan leak. And when I went to remove the pan, I noticed that it had four different sizes on the bolts. This is ridiculous. One was so long that it went through and it had a nut on top. Crazy. So, there's no way I'm going to leave it like that, obviously. So what we're going to do is, we're going to drill and tap all the bolts the same size. And in the event that you have a vehicle, whether it's a Beetle or something else, that has a strip bolt and you want to learn how to repair it, just keep watching. So given an up-close look, this right here, this is the only one that didn't get stripped. This one's stripped. This one's stripped. And that one's stripped. So three of them we had to repair and we're gonna insert heli coils instead of drilling bigger because the bolts still have to go through the bushings and if we drill them too big then they won't go through so we're just gonna put heli coils on three and we're gonna make all of them this size at the time we insert the heli coils on so these are the supplies that are gonna be needed to repair the strip threads on the transmission this was the original bolt and it was the only one that was still correct and it wasn't cross threaded or stripped and the size of it is M6 by 1 so I bought all new ones I'm gonna replace that one too these are the bushings that I was talking about that I couldn't drill them too big because this has to go through and these bushings go in between the transmission pan gasket so it doesn't get over tightened and ruined so here's our thread repair kit it comes with the thread chaser comes with three Healy coils comes with the installation tool and then we're gonna put some thread locker on them so they don't come off so these are the supplies and now it's time to repair it if you look at the repair kit it shows right there that the drill bit that is needed is quarter inch so first we're gonna drill all three holes with this quarter inch drill bit okay Brandon so go ahead and start drilling out the first one Okay, remove it. Okay, so Brandon just finished drilling the three holes. So the next step is to use the tap so we can make the threads to be able to insert the Healy coils. So go ahead, Brandon. That should be enough, Brandon. So go ahead and remove it. So this is what the thread that Brandon just did looks like. Now it's time to insert the Healy coil. So when inserting the Healy coil, you can do it two ways. You can do it with this part facing the installation like that, or you can do it the other way, that way. And usually this is going to be easier to insert because you're not trying to fight the coil. And this contour right here is going to enable it to go in easier. So you can do it either way. And what we're going to do, just like we mentioned before, we're going to apply a light coat of thread locker to it that way it doesn't come off next time somebody is trying to do a service on the transmission and they loosen the bolt we don't want the whole helicoil to come off just the bolt itself so that's what we're gonna do now okay so put a little bit of thread locker on it okay go ahead and install it so once the helicoil has been inserted all the way go ahead and remove the tool So after the helicoil has been inserted, you gotta break off the piece that was used to thread it in. So you need a small chisel and a hammer. So go ahead and break it off. So go ahead and repeat the same steps with the other two. That way all four threads will match. So now that the four threads have been repaired, we're gonna install brand new bolts, just like I mentioned before. And this filter kit right here is made by Wix. Here's the part number. Comes with the filter, the gasket, and brand new bushing. So this is the one that comes with them. Some of them don't come with the bushings, so be very careful when you're buying them. And before you throw the gasket away, transfer the bushings to the new one. So our next step is to install the bushings on the gasket. Okay, so go ahead and install the bushings on the gasket. So after the bushings have been installed on the new gasket, 
is remove the filter from the bag, coat it with transmission fluid, install it back on the transmission, make sure it goes the correct way, and install the gasket on the pan. Obviously the pan should be clean. Install it back on. Make sure you don't over tighten the down bolts again because guess what? They're going to get stripped just like they did before. I'll go ahead and list the torque specs on the video description. And I'm not going to include how to fill and how to check the level once this has been done because I did another video on a Jetta that has the same transmission and instead of making this one super long the whole purpose of this was to show you how to repair the strip threads not to do a transmission service I'm just going to add a link to that that way if you want to know how to drain it, fill it, check the level and all that you're going to know so this is going to conclude today's video we're just going to go ahead and finish putting this car together thanks for watching, see you next time okay, Brian, well, let's go ahead and install the structure Bring me with you.